Hi, um, my name is Leah Abrams and I'm a junior at Carborough High School. Uh, I have a quick question. Uh, a lot of people have been asking tonight if students are gonna be ready for the real world when they graduate. And I think it's a good question, but I guess I'm wondering if we're not in the real world right now, then where are we? Um, I, think that, I think that our education should be applicable to the real world. I think that we should be solving problems at school, learning by experience. Um, and I think that especially as technology grows, we know it better than many adults do, I think. Um, I, I think that you can't measure a teacher by their student scores on a standardized, on a standardized test. Um, you can't measure through a standardized test how much a teacher has changed your life or uh, changed the course of your life. So. Do I have more time? Um, also, wait, that's, sorry. Uh, also, I think that if most of the Republican lawmakers knew anything about Keynesian uh, economic theory, they would consider that we're recovering from uh, a low point from a recession and that it's time to increase corporate taxes. Thank you. Representatives, okay, you just heard it, corporate tax increases instead of cutting teacher pay, your thoughts? Well, I just wanna give a great big shout out to the Chapel Hill Carborough City Schools who have prepared a high school student who can come and lecture legislators on Keynesian <laughs> economics. So there are some things going well with education. Uh, and, but the point is well taken in that uh, we're, we're being forced to make false choices in the legislature and we really need to look at the bigger picture. If we're asked to vote on a budget that says, do you wanna raise teacher pay 8%, we, we would all say yes. If we say, do you wanna do that and lay off 3,700 state employees, teacher's assistants, send them home with no job? We say no. And the, the being forced to make that choice is a false choice because if we look at what's possible in this state and all of the revenue that could be generated if we invested in education and didn't say, oh, the money's not there. The investment needs to be made. And, and so we have to go back to the drawing board. For the latest WNCN uploads, subscribe or click here.